Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another mukbang edition. And today I have my lovely friend Melissa with me. Y'all, as you can see from the title, I'm gonna be talking about some tea. Ooh. You ain't really that kind of tea. I asked you guys to ask me and Melissa questions and we're gonna give it up to you as best as we can. Let's say a prayer we can get in and I'll let you know what we're eating. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food. Place before me in Jesus' name always. Amen. Amen. All right, so I have some leftovers, basically. Mm. This is what I made yesterday. I'm forgetting something. Potato salad. Right. I'm about to go get my you? potato salad. I'll be right back. But we have some jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. We have some white rice mm -hmm. Melissa made. That's all I made. I'm going to have some cabbage. I have some broccoli. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get me some potato salad. I'll be back. So I'm back with my potato salad. My favorite part. So we're going to be answering y'all questions. I'm going to get a few bites in though real fast. I didn't even know we were doing this. What? The questions until today. Oh, yeah, she did it. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to tell you. That was so funny. And I didn't. She was like, it was on my story. My screen was like, I didn't even look. Mm. Mm. I love potato salad. It's so fucking good. I don't eat it often, but... I don't eat um I don't eat Dominican potato salad. This is the only potato salad I eat. I like potato salad when I make it. I like, prefer it when you make it. Yeah. I don't mind other people's, but I have potato salad one time that has celery in it. I heard people do that. The light skin be. <laughs> <laughs> it made me very angry. And I like I, celery. And I swore off potato salad, and then you made yours for- um, But I don't want it in my potato salad. I think it was one thing, the potato salad when I was pregnant with Annie. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, I ate everything in sight. Mm. All right, so we're going to start with the first question. That y'all have for me. Oh, and y'all, before this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the Hello, whole everybody. gang. That is Mo. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit Mo. Vaughn Crazy Family, Vicky Braids, and Vaughn Discovers. Make sure y'all are subscribed to everybody. I don't know what you're waiting for. And don't be... I'll get to that. <laughs> I'm going to get to that at the end of my video because I really do have a little something to say. Well, I think I know what it is and I'm right there with you. Really annoying me. But yeah. I, I'm going to get there, y'all. Just just hang on and make sure y'all check out the next video that I have. Because the next video that I drop... I will not be there for this one. It's weird and different. I will be eating something very different. She's All right. very adventurous. How long have you guys been friends? So, me and Melissa have been friends Let's since... Let's see if you're going to get it right. Ten. Mm -hmm. How many years is that? Oh, we're doing math? <laughs> you done lost your damn math. That's my goddamn problem right there. It ain't, the, it ain't remembering when we met. It's the damn math. Um, Damn, I'm 39. I'm 38. Six <laughs> months, y'all. Six fucking months and she loses her damn mind. Um, six months younger. That's it. Six whole months. All right, so thirty nine. Hey, twenty eight and a half years. Twenty eight and a half years. Because when on my birthday it'll be twenty nine. Because I'll be thirty nine. Damn. It's a long time. I'm surprised I haven't killed her yet, y'all. All the comments about how sweet you are. That's so funny because that's exactly what I was thinking. Like she's still breathing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Back with another mukbang. <laughs> uh, That's true. Yo, the, the comments that y'all put about me being sweet and innocent. Not that you are not and sweet. meek. I can be sweet, but, but that's about where it is. Innocent son. and meek. We've, we've been here crying, laughing. <laughs> y'all, it's a facade. This is a beautiful person. It's a facade. But she was a little shy in front of the camera. Yes. Yes. She really didn't know at first, like, what. I didn't want to like go crazy on YouTube. Yeah, she mm -hmm. didn't know, but mm -hmm. I'm being dead ass honest, y'all. She is the spiciest person I've ever met in my life. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a typical like. She's like, Dominican. Uh, yeah, I'm not, and I'm not a typical, you know, meek Spanish no. woman. No, not at all. Hell no. no. There are a, a lot of thoughts running through my head. I wish my parents would wish. And out of <laughs> both of us, I'm the nice one. Yeah, she is. So she is good. High, when I want to talk to my off. And then you know how you need to call somebody because they doing something wrong. You need to call like anybody, anything you're working for, mm -hmm. somebody that owed you money. I'm dead serious. Mm -hmm. Call Melissa. You have a problem with a store? Her daughter tells me, go get mommy because she's going to set them straight. 
And I love it. That's her personality. Listen, listen. You're gonna we do it right or you're gonna do it right. Make sure you're eating, girl. Oh yeah. What is the best memory y'all have together? Oh, oh my, my god. god. It's like a Rolodex that have to go so through. Many things, it's though. like a Rolodex. Okay, mine is a recent one. My most recent. I'll do a really? recent one. I'll do a most recent one. And <laughs> it was fun to be around. Last <laughs> it was last year when we went to Texas together. When uh -huh. you first went to Texas because you hadn't been on a plane in so long, <laughs> and it's just watching you get out of your comfort zone. It was really nice mm -hmm. to see. Up really? Front. Yeah, it really was nice to see up close. It was. It really was. My best memory, honestly. It may not be one in particular, but when we get drunk and we're in a good mood, we can really laugh for a long time, especially oh if something God. tickles me. Oh my God. Um, especially when I get on her nerves. Like, I really enjoy that because nothing really, you know, either she's pissed, like, you're, you're the type of person, like, either you're pissed off or not. So it's good when she's at that medium and I can laugh at her. Yep. But she enjoys doing very much, so. But we've done so much, I can't, I mean, we've literally. I know. That's why I had to do most recent because I feel like it's too much. Like you've been, we've been friends since ten. We've we've done so many things. So I many can't things. Think of a favorite memory. So many things. Like so many things. <laughs> Childhood. <laughs> Period. Sleepovers. Period. Oh man. We sing Disney to this day. I damn sure do. I I don't sing as much because I sound like a cat caught in a blender. Have one of you ever told someone else a secret that the other has told you? I swear that's a question. So, we just have this. So I just did this and I just had to apologize. How could this be a question? It's going to. So I just did this. And we just talked about it before the camera went we on. We did. Because we were talking about something else, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it, oh my God. It, it, I have a tendency where, I think it's called neurodivergent, where in order to relate to people, I tell like my business or anything relevant business. And it's not cool. And um, I told something that was Rachel's business. And what was worse is that when she asked me about it, I was dismissive, which was really wrong. <laughs> well, so I would I say you were dismissive. I feel like I was. You You're being defensive. kind. I was defensive, but in that I was being dismissive of your feelings. I don't know. I don't use that word so lightly unless the person's like really like. But I did. It. I, well, I, I I pointed out something that shouldn't have pointed out, and I took the power. She just didn't say sorry. I didn't say sorry. And I she didn't. was more like, well, um, <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, bitch. If I want that person to know that, we're told them. Exactly. But that's fine. See, this is the key of friendship. How it lasts so long and what a lot of people do not understand. Your friends have different personalities. Yeah. Sometimes they mess up. Um, and you forgive them. Some people can be detrimental. I understand that. So you have to get yourself out of that space. I totally understand that. But still... That doesn't mean you lose lo love, and that doesn't mean you can't love from afar. Mm -hmm. um, me and Melissa have been friends for a long time, so there are times I don't have to say, like, I need a break from you mentally. <laughs> but, like I told everybody else, she's family. She's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but if she puts me in a predicament where I have to, like, choose or things like that, that may be a problem. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm going to be on her side. And not one of those, I'm going to be on her side because that's my friend no matter what. I think that's ignorant. It is. We tell each other when we think we're wrong. Mm -hmm. Some of us take it better than others. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that's right. We're in it to the day we die. What do you like and dislike about each other? Love you both. Thank you, pretty brown skin, Alicia. I like that name. Mm. Um, I really like how compassionate Milita is. I don't use that word much for her because she has a hard outer layer, but. Yeah, I'm surprised. She could be very compassionate. When you need something as a friend, if you just need to talk seriously, she's gonna listen. She's going to stop what she's doing and saying, okay, yeah. let me make time for you. Yeah. And I love that. A lot of friends don't do that. Um, um, what I like about that, I do you, do the like and then I do the dislike. God, I'm stuck on this cabbage, y'all. It's so good. You see, I'm not reaching for it at all. I don't know. Mostly eat vegetables, but <laughs> she's like, she do what she don't. That crab is good. There's so much I like about you that I don't know. I need to choose one. Um, just one. <laughs> um, one thing I like and admire is her patience. Oh. <laughs> I'm so serious. I got a lot of I'm so not. 
I'm sure. It is admirable, truly. It's the stuff of like, you know, people say uh, virtu uh, patience is a virtue you must pray for. Yeah, but I'll pray for it. She, I'm telling you, she's a, like the epitome of that. Yeah, I tried Sometimes at a fall. Yes, definitely to a fall. Definitely to a fall. But I'd rather be that way than the, than than the other person. way. Yeah. So. And I can testify to that because I'm gonna tell you, I need some patience. Yeah, she's almost got fucked up. I mean, beat up a lot of times, so I'm trying to curse less. <laughs> All right. What do we dislike most of the while the list goes on? <laughs> <laughs> um. Bitch. Mm. <laughs> Um, um, mm. oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna use something very small, nothing deep. Um, I dislike watching TV with Melissa. Truly, 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 truly. Any movie, any show. Really? I don't even know how you know what's going on because she's too busy talking. <laughs> I don't really? Care. Yeah. Girl, you don't notice that you do that? You be missing stuff. Like, what did he say? And you know what I want to tell you? If you shut the room, you know. <laughs> I just like watching TV, but that's something small. And we mean, still do it. I know, that's why I'm so shocked. Mm -hmm. Now now I'm going to be aware of this and now I'm going to have to stop. You no, know you won't. It's natural. It's funny because I've told you this before. I told you, but you know what's funny? Because my Angelina does it and it, it drives me crazy. <laughs> Y'all the same. This one I don't get. Every time she's mad at her daughter, I swear to God, I'll be thinking, like, don't be talking about my goddaughter. Every time, the same. Every time I go to complain to her about her and I go to my church, face, her, I visit her every time. I'm literally, sometimes I'm trying to control my face as you're talking. I know. Like, don't I say tell. it, don't say it, don't say it. She doesn't need to hear this right now. She's upset. She's trying to say something. Because I want to say, oh, you don't like that? <laughs> That's it. That, I don't like that. That yeah. right there, that, that. My sarcasm? No, I love your sarcasm. Sometimes it can be uh, annoying. I know y'all are sarcastic. Let me tell y'all how I told her, I mentioned her being sarcastic <laughs> a few days ago and the shock that came on my face, I, I couldn't, first of all, I couldn't stop laughing. Then I wanted to tell you to call everybody you know and ask them. I was about to start a laundry list. Can you call blah, 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 oh, blah, 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 I was like, hey, please call Keisha, and please call D, and please call Sal, and please call a few people that you aren't even talking to right now. Please ask them. I didn't even know that. I'm shocked. All right. What are your worst fear at fears? And Ray, will you be collaborating with other mukbangers in the near future? I definitely will. Um, I know what your worst fear is. My worst fear is death. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Closing your eyes forever. Yeah. I know I'm going to heaven, but I'm like, I'm not done yet. It's I'm not, not so sorry about that part, about me. <laughs> you will go to heaven. You can always change that, remember? Don't get me stop preaching right now. I know. Um, My greatest fear. I thought you was going to say that was the worst thing that you can't say about me, though. What? Because I'm always preachy. No. That's like, not. the Lord loves you. I'm really yeah. that type of person, so I'm like, I know that gets on her nerves. Sometimes I need to hear that because sometimes I don't know that. I keep forgetting that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Like, really you guys don't understand this, but I'm really, really religious. Yes. No, but they don't, I don't, and it's not, you know, it doesn't come across. I want to use the word religious because to say you're religious, I'm to hot, know sorry, that, yeah. like, you're always in church and you walk around smacking people with the Bible. Yeah, no. And I don't want to use the word spiritual because that's taking on a different connotation now <clears throat> with a different, you know, different kinds of spirituality. So I would say you are faithful. Very. Um, like, very faithful. Um, like, very. So she really lives her life that way. And sometimes you can go through things in life sometimes things happen to the people around you that you love i'm speaking about me and you can be very confused and you can feel overwhelmed or um i go i tend sometimes to go to a place of guilt and feeling like i'm responsible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i can feel very unworthy in that okay i'm getting real deep on here for no reason um, one, like, tell me your fears, girl. <laughs> and rachel reminds me that i am worthy to god no matter what i feel and i like um sharing that with people i don't know if i always share it. i think the last time when i was at mo house i was frying chicken or something mm -hmm. and i played my gospel mm. but i don't think they realize that's you all the time <laughs> yeah that like, was you yesterday Why exactly you like i i don't think they realize like listen i go from cardi nothing if you buck to, to take me to the king yeah so that's just who i am and then back and to i don't walk. need other people to believe like i believe but I feel it's helpful in life, and I feel like you can show, you can see 
the person who's religious or whatever your faith is you can see that in them because i'm answering to a the devotion a different yeah answering to a higher power so it's different for me i didn't say my fear yet that is atheist um my fear is um it's not dying it's dying without having done what i was supposed to do oh then without done like doing whatever god put me i thought she was gonna say water bugs <clears throat> she said the jab y'all she don't speak if she saw me even if you outside She'd be like, it flushes like she turns whiter than she actually is right now. That's the only time I ever seen you like. The only thing I want to hell. Say, the only question I have for God, and if I'm not going to heaven, I'm gonna be outside the gates like Saint Peter. Um, <laughs> why? I need somebody to answer question. Why a flying roach that barely dies? How do they survive the nuclear? Um, why? 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 Don't question them. What do you guys like to drink? And do you go out on party? Listen. Drink as in liquor wise? Yeah, I'm with so many. Um rum, whiskey, bourbon. This girl could drink me underneath the table. I'm allergic to wine. Yeah, she's allergic to wine. I kind of know what he was on. So and I champagne is always my um drink of choice. And do we go out and party? <laughs> Not really. We party in the house. We party in the house and I'm thirty nine years old, guys. Like I'm not saying you can't go out for an event, but I kind of partied myself out. It's not something I've never done. We used to party all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. I have a better time. I could put, control my playlist. We ha we've had our, our um, outside experiences. Right. Okay. What's something y'all did as young adults that you would never do now? Oh, my God. So Pawned many things. <laughs> I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, pawn. We pawned everything when we were growing up. Me and Melissa. Everything. <laughs> everything. All my nice jewelry from when I was Oh my God. Oh God. You know, I was thinking about my ID bracelet the other day. The old school one that has the whole name. Yeah. Here. I don't know if you guys know that bracelet, you know, it comes with plaid and you stamp it. Y'all, we um, pawned everything. <clears throat> um, putting ourselves in predicaments that were very unsafe. Right. And I'm going to leave it at that. Right, right, please. <laughs> All right. What's one food you would love to try? I've tried it already. I want you to try it. Gator wings. Mussels. You you hate mussels. I know. I tried a little piece once, and it was a little one. It says that you haven't tried or that you have tried? That you want to try. Do you want to try? And <clears throat> I want to try. I want to My cousin's try. always eating it, and I just want her to make it for me and try it. I want to, yeah. I want to, I like gator wings. I wanted to try it, and I did. I want to try that I haven't had yet. Mm. Hmm. I don't know, Melissa pretty much tries things. Yeah, I went to this place in Brooklyn that had like an elk burger and I ate it. I've oh. had a bison burger. Um, I've had gator wings. I have had, I'm trying to think, I've eaten goat. I've eaten lamb, you made lamb, oh my goodness. She made yes, lamb a long time ago. It was really chops. good. Um, you know what? It's not that I want to try it, to actually eat eat it but i want to see what it tastes like I, i'm gonna try snails oh why them i feel like it's gonna be slimy kind of like oyster but what's your favorite thing about new york the noise it's your favorite thing it's too damn quiet when i go other places it's hard for me to sleep mind you when you're here you're like they won't shut the hell up i'm trying to make a video i know but it's just like when i'm at moles it's hard for me to go to sleep I, it is it takes a while it's so um, when i'm quiet. in tr it's it's same thing. i'm like where's the woo? like shut up i need all that noise sometimes. Campbell's being bad off in the side y'all um my favorite thing about new york is um i think people have said this about it but you you really would know it if you came um it kind of the city's like alive yeah like there's nothing like walking a few blocks in manhattan if you go from one district to another and it's completely different completely different people completely different dollar signs completely different there's always something to do and i feel mm -hmm. like the streets are alive i really do it's what I would miss if I moved away. Um, at Ray, do you wish you were shorter? No, why would I do that? Why would I wish I was shorter? What I'm kind of question stud. is that? Climb me. <laughs> Climb me. Well, not you, but just that's how my mind thinks. What kind of question is that? Um, Melissa, would you ever cut your hair short? I have. She has. Um, I've cut my hair here with the coming down. Um, I'm going to cut it soon. 
uh, about three inches. I'm gonna take off of it. I don't have a problem with cutting my hair short. I don't, I don't have that issue. It just grows back really fast. It goes back really fast. And I have an issue with not being able to put it in a pony off my face. Yeah. Because it, my hair is curly. So mm -hmm. I can't go but so short. Sometimes if I go a certain level of short, I wake up, like when I cut my hair here, it looked cute when it was straight. But then when I washed my hair, the kids were laughing because I looked like a poodle. Because mm -hmm. my curls were like plastered on my head. So it's really just um, managing it. Yeah. One thing in life you wish you could change. You go first. In general, or about myself? That's just that's all it says. One thing in life, so I, I wish guess you I, could pick whichever one. I could change. I'm like society wise. <laughs> um, <laughs> one thing in life, I wish I could change. The things about myself that I feel like I that I would want to change, I feel like I should be working on. Mm. So if it's like, damn, I should have finished my degree so I could be getting paid more. Yeah, but you should have. You should go back to school and finish it. You know, it's things about myself that I, it's like, if I said it, it would just be unrealistic because it's like nothing is stopping you. You're stopping you, which is a whole different situation. Um, what I wish I could change if I had like a magic wand was rent, the amount of for rent, like the way that people are charged to live on God's earth. It's ridiculous. One thing um, in life I wish I could change is me not being able to see my daughter, period. Are you a couple? That this no, is a question that pisses this? me off. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. Because I literally lead with this is my friend Melissa. Why are y'all doing that? And why do y'all think that she would have somebody that she wouldn't tell about? Like, right. And the, another thing that she's really, grown. Exactly. Another thing I think that pissed me off too is because I feel like it's this big thing, like because I'm a stud, I can't have a a friend next to you that you aren't. Yeah. It's always a question. Yeah, you guys gotta stop. Grow up. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to know how we dated, actually we did. Mm -hmm. Did not work out as planned. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. <laughs> for very, very. And that's that on that. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Anyway. What the fuck, I'm a bitch? You wasn't a, a fucking pedal on I the fucking both, I meant both of us. I meant that for both of us. Orange or grape soda? Definitely orange. What about you? Grape. Favorite TV show? I can't. I have so many. My God. But if I had to pick what I'm watching right now, Martin. That's what I'm watching right <clears> now. <throat> Anything to do with food, too. Like, everything. I'm Gordon Ramsay is literally on pause while I'm doing this video. She, she loves that man. I'll rewatch him over and over, like, um, constant. I'm in between shows now, but when I want to decompress and I just want something in the background to laugh, I'd have put on Bob's Burgers. Oh, uh, yeah. I love Bob's Burgers. Uh, what's your favorite book? That's going to go for you. I don't read like that, y'all. The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read in a while. Um, I'm, I just got a new book, and I, I'm starting it, so I can't say it's my favorite. Um... There is a book by C.S. Lewis called The Four Loves. I read it when I was in college. Um, and it, it's a very short book, it's a very small book, but it's really powerful. It tells you about the four different kinds of love in the world, friendship, um, family, romantic, and God's love. And how God's love encompasses all of that together. And it really gave me a different perspective on a relationship with God because I was Catholic. And mm -hmm. that's very, um, very strict and it has very much rules and you have to go to God through someone else through a priest you don't they don't call it, they don't really and at least for me they didn't encourage a personal relationship with God yeah, so that's which is what, different from being like a Baptist yes and I feel like if I had been raised like that it probably would have been different mm -hmm. um and that book helped me understand that that is possible to have your own personal relationship without having to answer to a priest mm -hmm. and um you know confess your sins I, I always try to tell me that that's very important to know um, do you think a woman or a man is better as a best friend? I'm going to go with a man. Because women are really sensitive. Um, Says the sensitive woman. Yeah, but I mean extremely. Like, I'm sensitive about real shit. Not like, oh my God, you put the cup down this way? Does that mean you didn't like it? Like, not weird stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's like great. I, all my friends are women, which is funny. But I have Vaughn. I'm gonna go with women. And now that, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I could talk with Vaughn. I see the difference between yes. women and men. I understand you. And I have my son's father. It just is different. And he's so clear cut when they give, like, yeah, I don't the way hear that. Vaughn gives 
Yeah, I want to um, cry. Let me cry and be upset. Mm -mm. The way Ron gives, like, it is what it is. It's like, what, nigga? I love it. And they've been so couple of times. I'm like, I miss such and such. Insert word there. And he's like, ain't nothing but another day. I'm like, what? <laughs> Uh, the first ones that, that was on Instagram that I sent you. When he first said that, that was so funny to me. One last one I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna do this one because it's simple. What's y'all zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. I'm a Sagittarius. It's the only Sagittarius I ever want in my life because they are very different people. I'm just saying. And Gemini's who are the complete <laughs> opposite of us are not. They're cakewalks. Exactly. That's my point. Um, when is the gang going on a trip? I don't know, but I'm sure we will. I know we'll be meeting up soon. The cat um, is losing her mind in the corner, y'all. Losing her mind. I'm trying to end this video, too. This one is from Ace Eats, y'all. Make sure y'all check out Ace Eats. I got something coming that's going to be my next video. And y'all going to see uh, why I'm shouting her out. But make sure y'all check out Ace Eats. This one is, it may have been asked before, but when did you know or feel you were gay? Ooh. Oh, my God. Um, probably when I was playing house with my best friend Simone at eight. I knew. Um, I've always, I acted on it. <laughs> I, I knew. I tried not to be, but I knew. Um, I was about 10 when I dry humped with a cousin that we're not going to name. Not dry humped. Short <laughs> Not your cousin. Short did. <laughs> <laughs> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Short did. Damn. Um, and then after that, um, you know, it was an option. I thought, okay, we have to have boyfriends. But then I, after that, I had a friend who we used to play house with. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I was with boys. I grew up and I realized like the sensation that I got playing house with that friend, I didn't have with them. Really? Yeah. That like sense of like urgency, like, you know, mm -hmm. so I was like, huh, let me try this instead. And I was like, okay, this is where it's at. Anyway, I love, love, love you guys. And until we eat potato salad like crazy, because mm. we fucked our shit up. Um, so until we eat that jerk chicken, until we share good. a good moment with my one of my greatest friends, mm -hmm. um, until we answer your questions, I will see you guys soon. I love, love, love you. Later. Oh, I can't wait for your next one. Be brave. I am being very brave. Very brave. So it's not going to be me. Y'all better watch it, yo. Actually, I may try some. You gonna try? Not on camera. Why not? Because I'm gonna throw it. It don't have to be a whole video, but I can pull you in. Like, come on, sit down. And I, I wanna try it before I try it on the camera. Why? What if I throw up? I need that. <laughs> anyway, later for real, y'all. Bye. <laughs>